friends, welcome to Amazon World. In this video, I'll be explaining illustration number 5 of branch and department like comments. Okay, so even before discussing this question, we have to get to know how to do questions under stock and depth test method. Actually, illustration number 5 comes under the head of stock and depth test method. Okay, so in 2016 syllabus, financial accounting CMA study material, they have placed illustration number 5 under the head final accounts method, but it but it should be placed under the head stock and debt test method. Okay, so illustration number five is a question which should be done in stock and debt test method. Uh, let's sum up what a stock and debt test method. Okay, first of all, uh, stock and debt test method is a third method specified in our CMA study material of financial accounting. This method is used by head office to maintain the books of branch when there is a large number of transactions. Fine. Okay, and under this method, there are accounts that should be opened. Fine. Let's see what are all these accounts are. First account is branch stock account. In branch stock account, we'll enter all those things that would affect the stock and we will record it at invoice price itself. Now we are just directly writing it in the invoice price itself. Fine. The next account is branch debtors account. This account is being prepared in order to find the receivables, credit, uh, sales and closing debtors and all. Fine. And the next account is branch adjustment account. This is an important account under this method. Fine. Okay. Uh, this account is maintained for recording loading for goods and for, for ascertaining gross profit. Okay. So that means I already told you that in branch stock account we used we are writing it in invoice price itself. So what is invoice price? Invoice price contains Profit element plus cost, right? Cost plus profit element is what we call as invoice price. So that profit element which we are recording in the branch stock account should be eliminated. So we are going to eliminate it in the branch adjustment account. Fine. Okay. And uh, this branch adjustment account, the balancing figure of branch adjustment account will be gross profit or gross loss. Fine. Then next account is branch profit or loss account. Uh, this account has been maintained in order to ascertain branch net profit. Fine. Next account is goods sent to branch account. It is actually not necessary to uh, open each and every account like this. Um, it, is, it depends upon the question. Fine. Okay. Then the extra accounts that should be opened under stock and debtors method are branch expense account, branch cash account, branch fixed asset account, uh, and abnormal loss or loss in transit account. Okay. Okay. So uh, it is actually not necessary to open all these accounts in every question. It depends upon the question. Fine. And the other thing which we have to discuss is about the balancing figure. Okay, balancing figure of branch stock account. Okay, balancing figure of branch stock account. In the question, if they have not given us closing stock, then the closing, then the balancing figure of a branch stock account will be closing stock. If in the question closing stock is being specified, then the balancing figure which we get after preparing branch stock account will be either surplus of stock or shortage of stock. So surplus of stock will be when the balance figure appears on the debit side of branch stock account. Okay. And so shortage of stock will be when the balance figure appears on the credit side of branch stock account. Fine. So these are some points you have to keep in your mind. These are the common points you have to keep in your mind while doing stock and debtors method questions. Fine. The next topic. Next topic is about excess contribution to gross profit. And this is the important theory you have to keep in your mind while doing illustration number five. Okay. So that is what is excess contribution to gross profit. That is it is a difference between list price and invoice price. Let's read this. Difference between list price and invoice price results excess contribution to gross profit. The difference between the difference amount that is uh, uh, for example if list price is 10,000 and invoice price is 5,000 the difference amount is 5,000 right. So this 5,000 is what we call as excess contribution to gross profit. Fine. Okay. Uh, it arises only out of the sales which have been made at list price. Okay. This excess contribution to gross profit will only arise out of the sales which have been made at list price means in uh, here in uh, branch and department accounts of 2016 syllabus, the third illustration, they have given us a, a kind of question where it includes catalog price and invoice price and all. You can just go and refer that. Okay. So when questions like that appears, you have to uh, keep in your mind about this if you are going to do that question under stock and debtors method. Fine. If you have any doubt till now, uh, you can just comment down. Fine. And there is one entry you have to keep in your mind while doing illustration number five that I will show you. So you'll be able to see it here, right? Excess of sale price over invoice price. 
okay if like in uh, list price will be actually greater than invoice price okay so if the sale price is greater than the invoice price then if there is an excess of sale price over invoice price then we have to pass this entry here okay? that is brand stock account data to branch adjustment account fine what will we record here? We'll record that difference amount. I just said an exam, right? That is list price is 10,000 and invoice price is 5,000 and the difference amount is 5,000. So that difference amount 5,000 have to be returned on while, pricing, while passing this entry. Okay. Now we are going to discuss illustration number 5. Okay, let's read it. White Limited with their head office at Kolkata invoice goods to their Ranji branch at 20% less than list price. Okay, so uh, White Limited is the company. Uh, this company has a head office at Kolkata and uh, this head office is sending goods to Ranji branch. Uh, okay, and they are sending goods at 20% less than list price, which is cost plus 100%. That is, uh, head office is sending the goods to Ranji branch at invoice price itself. So, if you are going to ask what is invoice price, they are telling us that invoice price is list price minus 20 percentage. Fine. Okay, now you will ask what is list prices. List prices, telling what is list prices here, which is cost plus 100 percentage. Okay, so list price means cost plus 100 percentage and invoice price means 20 percentage less list price. Fine. Okay, now let's read. With instruction of that, cash sales are to be made at invoice price and credit sales at list price. Okay, in this question, the head office is giving instruction that a branch is going to do cash sales. They have to do it in the invoice price. And if they are going to do the credit sales, they have to do it in the list price. Fine. From the following particulars, prepare branch took account and branch took adjustment account for the year enter 31st, 12, 2018. So they have asked us to draw or asked us to prepare branch took account as well as branch took adjustment account. Okay. Only these two accounts have to be prepared in this question. Fine. Okay. So I will be explaining this question with the help of the textbook itself. Okay, so now let's read. Stock on 1st January 2018. This is the opening stock. Okay, so this stock is being given at invoice price itself. I have told you in stock under stock and debtors method, we are going to write the amount in stock account in invoice price at invoice price itself. Okay, so we are going to write this 2400 as it is into the Ranji brand stock account here as to balance brought down 2400. Fine. Next, they have given us debtors. Debtors shouldn't be recorded inside Ranji brand stock account or, uh, or in Ranji brand stock adjustment account. Where we will write this debtors? We will write it in debtors account, branch debtors account. But they have not asked us to prepare debtors account here. So, there is no need for us to write this down. Okay. Now, next is cash receipt from debtors. This also goes into that uh, branch debtors account only. So, we are not going to write this down. Next comes goods receipt from head office. Okay, so they have uh, given us the goods which was received from the head office at invoice price itself. We are going to write it inside the brand stock account because this is something that is going to increase the stock, right? So, we have to debit it. Fine. So, we are going to write it in invoice price itself. Okay. So, I am going to write two goods sent to branch account 26400 as it is. Fine. Next. They are, uh, next, they are telling us that uh, some goods have been returned back to head office and that is uh, the amount is 200. So, we are going to write it in the opposite side. Okay. So, by goods sent to branch account, we are going to return it 200. Fine. Next comes cash sales 9200. When sales happens, the uh, stock reduces, right? So, we have to credit the stock account. So, cash sales 9200. Next comes credit sales that is 20,000. We know that uh, credit sales also would reduce the stock so we have to write this credit sales in the branch stock account but we are good but we are not going to write as credit sales we'll be writing it as by branch debtors why because when we are doing credit sales debtors increase right because they are not because they are not giving us the money immediately they will give us money only later so they are our debtors those people to whom the branches uh, sell in credit are the debtors of the branch right so this is going to increase the debtors so we have to write by branch debtors account 20,000 here and this amount should also be recorded in the branch debtors account but since in this question note asked us to prepare branch debtors account there is no need for us to show it in the branch debtors account okay so we are writing the credit sales as by branch debtors account 20,000 fine 
Next, they have given us expenses at branch 3473. There is no need for us to record it because this is not going to affect the stock. Next comes remittance to head office 24,000. This also doesn't affect the stock. So, we are not going to write it. Next, uh, debtors on 31st 12, 2018. This is a closing debtors. There is no need for us to record it because this comes in the which this comes in which account stock debtors account. So, we are not going to record it. Next comes stock on 31st 12, 2018. This is the closing stock 3520. So, in this question, uh, they have given us closing stock. That means after preparing brand stock account, the balancing figure will be either shortage of sub shortage of stock or surplus of stock. Fine. Okay, if they have now given us this closing stock, then we have to um, assume that the balance figure which we get in this brand stock account as closing stock. So, in this question, they have already given us a closing stock. So, that means the uh, balance, figure, uh, balance figure will be either surplus in stock or shortage of stock. Fine. Okay, so we are going to write this down as 3520 by balance carried on 3520. Next comes our adjustments and all. Okay, so... In this question, uh, I have already told you about excess contribution towards gross profit, right? When will this excess contribution towards gross profit arise? Where it will arise from the credit sales only. In this case, in this question, it arises from the credit sales because credit sales is the sales which was done in less price, right? That's what I told you. It arises only out of the sales which have been made at list price. So credit sales is the sales which is being made at list price, right? So we are going to take this twenty thousand here. Okay, so we all know that this 20,000 is um, a list price, right? So 20,000 is list price. That means before that, uh, I'm going to show you that. Look at here. In the question, they have told us that list price is cost plus 100 percentage, right? Okay, so if you are going to take cost as 100, 100 plus 100 percentage, we are going to get 200 percentage. So um, percentage of list price is 200. Fine. Now, in the invoice price, what will be the rate of invoice price? What will be the percentage of invoice price? They have told us that 20 percentage less list price. So, list price we already got, it is equal to 200 percentage, right? So, we are if you are going to subtract this 20 percentage of 200 from this 200 percentage, what we are going to get? That is 200 into 20 percentage. 200 into 20 percentage, we are going to get 40. So, once we subtract this 40 from 200, what will we get? We will get 160. So, 160 percentage is the percentage of invoice price. Fine. So, we all know that this 20,000 20, is made at list price. So, that means this 20,000 is equal to what? This 20,000 is equal to 200 percentage as it is done in list price. But we have to convert, we have to find what? We have to find this in invoice price so let's do this one that is 20,000 divided by 200 into 160 so we are going to get what 16,000 as an answer okay there is no need for the percentage here let's just do this that is 20,000 divided by 200 into 160 so we'll get 60,000 right so we got 60,000 here now take the difference between this 20,000 and 16,000 so the difference amount is what 4,000 so as i told you that we have to record this Difference amount in the brand stroke account, right? Showed you the entry which should be passed when there is an excess on sale price over invoice price. Here, the sale price is excess over invoice price, right? 20,000 is excess over 60,000, right? So, we have to show that excess amount in the brand stroke account. How will we show it? This is the entry which I told you. So, in this entry, it is written as brand stroke account data to branch adjustment account. So, in brand stroke account, how will it appear? It will appear as two branch adjustment account. So, we will write as two Ranji branch adjustment account. Since the branch's name is Ranji, we are going to write as two Ranji branch adjustment account and we are going to show that 4000. Okay. Now, let's um, total both the sides and we will get 32,900. Uh, 32,920 as a total and the balance figure will appear on the debit side so when it appears on the debit side it means that it is surplus in stock account fine so this balance figure is also an invoice price because everything is done in the invoice price only there was only credit sales which was done on the list price and we have already subtracted that extra amount here okay now we finished preparing branch branchy brand stroke account Okay, so everything inside it is invoice price. So what we have to do, we have to now eliminate all those profit elements from this amounts. Okay, so we are going to do that on the Ranji brand stroke adjustment account. So very first, let's just eliminate the loading which is included in the opening and the closing balance. So how will we find it? 
we already know that this 2400 and this 3520 is invoice price right so 2400 divided by invoice price what is the percentage of invoice price 160 percentage we already found it so divide by 160 into i just want that loadings portion which is equal to 60 right Okay, so that is 160 minus 100, you're going to get that loading portion only, which is equal to 60. So I just want that loading portion only, 900. I'm going to eliminate it where uh, I'm going to eliminate the loading of opening balance. So in brand stock adjustment account, where it will appear, it will appear on the credit side, right? On the credit side, we are going to write as buy stock reserve account. Okay, so uh, stock reserve is an account which we use to eliminate the loading of opening and closing stock only. Okay, so in the operating stock, we are just, um, we are, by using the stock reserve account, we are just crediting it in the brand stock adjust, we are just crediting brand stock adjustment account with this 900, fine. Now we are going to, uh, we are going to eliminate the loading which is included in the closing stock, that how will we find it, 3520 is equal to 160, right. I just want that loading portion which is equal to 60, so we will get 1320, we have to show it in the debit side of Ranji brand stock adjustment account. Okay, so which account will we use? We'll use the stock reserve account for both the closing and the opening stock. Okay, so by using that account, we just showed that 1320 which we just found out. Okay, then next comes a good send to branch account. Okay, so how do we do this? We can either show them separately or we can just show uh, simply also like uh, just subtract this 200, just subtract this return from this 26,400. So we'll get that net amount, right? Okay, so that net amount is also a invoice price that is 26400 minus returns will get net amount 26200 26200 is also an invoice price so divide by 160 into 60 you're gonna get that loading portion which is equal to 9825 okay so i'm gonna show it on the opposite side of i'm gonna show it on the credit side of ranji brand stock adjustment account as 9825 by writing buy goods sent to branch account okay then i have told you that the surplus in stock is also uh, what invoice price only so one twenty because everything which was recorded in this uh, stock account except for the credit sales was invoice price so the uh, balance figure will also be in an invoice price okay that is 120 divided by 160 into 60 we're gonna get 45 as the answer and write it down in the opposite side that is on credit side write it on the credit side of the ranji brand stock adjustment account as buy surplus in stock account 45 there is nothing else to do now let's total both the sides we're gonna write uh, we'll get the total as 14,770 and the balance figure will appear on the debit side of the ranji brand stock adjustment account and we'll call it as gross profit this gross profit have to be transferred to branch Profit and loss account. Okay. So, we will get the balance figure 13,450. You were able to understand this question, I guess. Okay. So, I hope illustration number 5 was clear to you. If you have any more doubts, you can just comment down. So, I used to check about this illustration number 5 in everywhere. In YouTube also. But I couldn't find any correct answer. Any satisfying answer. Uh, like uh, many of the YouTube channels were just skipping this question. Uh, it is it is not actually their problem. It's because in our 2016 syllabus, they have not given us this particular theory. So you will be asking me from where did I get this? I got this from 2022 study material. Okay, so in that uh, 2022 study material, they have given us everything precise format. So I just referred it. And there is an exact question like this uh, white limited in 2022 syllabus also you can just try that question out it is it starts from uh, green limited it is also illustration number five of branch and department accounts in 2022 study material okay so i hope this session was clear for you thank you for watching my video rock your studies